a new look for your home without burning a hole in your pocket? Well then, interior redesign is the answer for you. Hello and welcome to Expert Advice. Today I have with me Safna Srivastava, Managing Editor of Builder Tech Magazine to discuss in length about interior redesign. But first of all, let's welcome our guest of the day. Hello Safna, welcome Hello, to the show. Teacher. Okay, Safna, since I mentioned about interior redesign, now this concept is something which is unheard of in India. What actually is interior redesign? Uh, in late 1990s or early 2000s, uh, in US, the, the property market was going through a lean period and it was more a buyer's market than the seller's market. Uh, so property, uh, so property owners who wanted to sell their property faster, and uh, you know they wanted good price for it, make their property stand out from other properties which are on the market. Uh, a concept of home staging uh, started uh, during that period. Uh, home staging meant uh, the property owners would refurbish their property, would uh, bring out uh, the advantages of the property, the best points of the property, so that it becomes um, much more attractive for the buyers and in fact at that time property experts say that due to home staging uh, property owners could get 6 to 20 percent more price for the properties and it sold faster as well. Uh, this was the beginning of interior redesign actually. Okay. From there on uh, the concept of uh, not actually interior designing your place but redesigning it came about. Now why would anyone want to redesign or uh, go for interior redesign or it is also called as interior refining or interior redecorating. Uh, some of the reasons people start, people started looking at this kind of uh, designing concept was that uh, if it is a commercial setup, uh, sometimes it's a startup company, they don't want to invest that much money in decorating their place. Or probably it was a leased office, uh, they don't want to make any permanent uh, additions or alterations. Uh, sometimes uh, a business has gro uh, uh, gone through development and growth and now they have some uh, new identity and they wanted to uh, their office to uh, give the expression to that new identity without losing their previous uh, uh, you know the look so this was one of the reasons sometimes uh, they don't want to disrupt their operations because of uh, decorations and designing aspect budget and time constraints so for commercial properties, this were, these were some of the reasons they for not going for full-fledged designing, but just to redesign the place. In residentials, again, the reasons were, uh, one, maybe it was a rented property that cannot make uh, major changes. Second, uh, uh, people might have had uh, collected a uh, lot of things over the years which they don't want to you know, part away with, mm -hmm. uh, but they want a new look for it because for years and years their home still has the same look and they want a new look without posing off their, you know, the, the things that they had collected over the years. Uh, so then another reason is that uh, you know, they, uh, they have a uh, lot of uh, things that they have uh, memories attached and uh, they want to keep the same look but they want to make it look modern. But without spending too much time and effort and money. Mm -hmm. So these were some of the reasons why interior redesign as a segment came about. And a uh, lot of countries and a lot of uh, uh, European American cities, this concept is, is being uh, practiced. Well, that's quite an interesting story. You know, you mentioned about people having attachment with their objects. And I think it's a very good concept. Now, taking this conversation further, now I would like to ask, as a you know, one of the homeowners, if I wish to, you know, interior redesign, you know, to go about interior redesign, so what are the processes that are involved that I need to take care of? The process is really simple actually and uh, the first step in uh, interior redesign, interior refining or interior redecorating, whatever you would like to call it, is first talk to the designer, give them uh, what kind of lifestyle you have, what is the look that you are looking uh, to achieve uh, for your home or for your particular room. Uh, the designer would uh, examine the space, uh, probably make best utilization of the space. Uh, they would uh, create a focal point for, uh, for the room or the space. According to that focal point, they will complement uh, the entire setup, probably your lighting, your lighting fixtures. Uh, your furniture, instead of replacing the furniture, they are going to just replace it and rearrange it to give 
a whole new look uh, to the to the space. Um, they will shop within your home, which means uh, probably they will pick up few pieces from the bedroom to be introduced in the, in the new uh, look of the living room. Or probably few things from your living room will go into the bedroom to give uh, complement the new style that has been introduced in the bedroom. Uh, with that, then uh, probably the window treatments uh, would be changed or revitalized. Uh, the color of the walls, the flooring probably goes uh, undergoes change, and. Uh, you know, then the new uh, things that have been shot, they are brought in to complement the entire look and give a new cohesive look. The important thing here is that a designer comes with a fresh perspective because you have been looking at your home from years and years and you have that same mindset. You have mentioned about, you know, hiring a designer. Now, I would like to ask here, is it necessary, you know, that I actually hire a designer or maybe, you know, I could do away with a contractor or someone? Of that, that's all. Uh, see, uh, designer is uh, see as we are talking about designing here, okay. and for designing, uh, you need the aptitude towards design. You need to have those sense and sensibilities about the color schemes, about uh, what uh, is in vogue today, or what are the basic styles, like modern style, the classic style, the medical style, the country style. A contractor cannot give you that vision. He uh, can execute things for you. We can bring the vision of the designer to reality. But a contractor is not equipped uh, if, with the aptitude for design. He cannot suggest to color schemes. He cannot suggest to what kind of fabrics you should go for, what kind of, uh, if you are looking for a classic style, what uh, kind of prints and upholstery you should be looking at. That only a designer can suggest. Exactly. Because they have been trained for uh, the design aspect of it. Yes, of course. Time for a short break. Stay with us. Uh, the basic premise of interior redesign is that without spending money on new things, how can we give a new look, uh, completely reinterpret? Welcome back to Expert Advice. We were talking about interior redesigning. Now let's take this conversation further with our guest Sapna Srivastava. Here my question arises is like how, you know, how does it actually be a cost effective process of, you know, making your home look beautiful and lively and classy again? So it's a misconception among people that uh, if you want a good look, if you want a real classy look, you need to have expensive things like for these and furniture, uh, it's a misconception. Uh, it's not about beautiful things, it's about how you play with the things, how you arrange those things, how you complement them with each other. Uh, the basic premise of interior redesign is that without spending money on new things, how can we give a new look, uh, completely reinterpret the things that we have in a new way, in a fresh uh, way. Sorry. Uh, some of the examples I would give is uh, you are cutting your cost first of all because you are not making any structural changes. You are not making any expensive uh, civil works uh, in, in, the, in your house or in your office space. Uh, secondly, um, you are not buying completely a new furniture. You can remodel your existing furniture. Uh, for an example, if you are looking for a modern furniture, modern coffee table, but you have a carved shisha furniture, carved, carved coffee table, what do you do? You are not going to throw away because, uh, you know, it has also been seen mostly the furniture that we have from earlier periods and earlier years. They are made of solid teak or mahogany or shisha, and, uh, which are really expensive woods and uh, really good quality woods. So why waste those woods? Uh, in case if you have a shisha carved table, uh, probably you can use that uh, the top of the table as a bar uh, cabinet door instead of a coffee table. You can use it as a feature, as a decorative feature on your wall. Uh, you can use the carved legs with a table, glass table top. So once you introduce glass, it becomes modern. Exactly. And when you introduce this carved legs, it gives a, you know a chic uh, look to it without being very dry and without being very materialist. So these are some of the ways. Another way could be a uh, few years back there was a trend of having wall to wall carpeting. Uh, now probably you want to do away with that look and uh, so why throw that uh, carpet? You can actually create area rugs from that carpet. 
So these are some of the ways of reusing your uh, things that you already have in a very new way. Area rugs are very much in these things. These are the trend of uh, modern uh, interiors. Uh, so that is how you are cutting your cost. You are not doing any structural uh, changes in your home. You are not buying any new uh, furniture. You are just remodeling it. Uh, interior designer would also suggest you if you are remodeling your furniture, how much. If it's going to be very expensive, they will suggest you don't go for remodeling. Probably just reupholster it. Uh, if you have a modern furniture and you want a classic look for your home, just by changing the upholstery into more base leaves and. Uh, would give you the necessary look or if you have a very classic kind of a furniture and furnishings just by changing the upholstery of your furniture into more modern geometric patterns will bring in the required look so these are some of the ways uh, how you mix and match and probably you know give a whole new look to your uh, place without actually spending a lot of money okay so this was about the money factor but talking about time you know we are city people, we don't have much time. Now in this case, when I'm planning to interior redesign my home, you know, how much time would it generally take? It depends upon the services that you are looking uh, at or uh, the, the whole scope of work. If it is just consultation, probably you just want to do the whole thing yourself and you just need consultation from the designer. Obviously that will take just a few hours. Uh, actual, uh, if it is a room that you are redesigning probably for an event, uh, that would take not more than a day. Uh, if you are looking at redesigning your entire home but without the wall colors and the flooring, uh, probably three to five days. Uh, if it is the whole gamut of services like uh, wall painting, the floors, even shopping for new things, and then the redesigning, that would be about 10 to 15 days. Okay. So I think it doesn't take much time also. So it's very yeah, exactly. uh, timing accordingly. It's also very nice. Exactly. Okay. Now next question that arises here is talking about space management and utilization. How effective exactly. does interior redesign become? Uh, space uh, space utilization is uh, one of the most important reason why people want to redesign their home, mm -hmm. uh, or probably just introducing a chair rail or a dado rail, which is uh, a molding at the level of the chair pack and then coloring the lower part in a different color will break the high walls. Uh, if you want to give a bigger look to your home, the inverse of it, uh, probably you can have curtains from uh, ceiling to ground which will give a look of a you know, uh, high ceiling. Uh, you can add mirrors to give a visual uh, sense of space. Um, you can uh, increase the height or decrease the height of your windows just by uh, probably adding cornices and balances in your uh, window, you increase the height uh, by uh, changing the window treatment, you maybe have cafe style uh, curtains on your, uh, on your windows and it will reduce the height of your windows. Uh, similarly, if you have an arched window which is out of proportion, which looks like out, you know, it's not fitting into the proportion of your design, you can break it, uh, break it by uh, adding curtain rod below the arch. So these are some of the ways how you can change the look and the dimension of the room. You can create more space, uh, again by fully utilizing your floors, by fully utilizing your walls. You can take things on your walls, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, like your accessories and displays, they don't necessarily have to be on your side tables and end tables. You can create a, a, you know, interesting shelving on your walls and display these uh, accessories there. You, can, uh, you do not need to necessarily have a bar cabinet which is standing on your floor. Free up your floor space by taking the bar cabinet as a built-in uh, cabinet on your walls which opens up into a bar counter. Uh, so these are some of the says, uh, ways if, you know, rather than having just one big seating, if you can have it break it into two or three seatings, the automatic plate looks like it's a bigger area. You know, adding area rugs in the seating it gives a you know, different dimension to the floor. So these are some of the ways you can maximize the use of the space and just by rearranging it, give visually make it appear larger than what it is. Correct. Okay. Now, if I plan to interior redesign my home, so should I move out of my home? Because generally, you know, in case of renovation, you see this, you know, people have to move out of their places and it's like it generally takes up to 45 days to, you know, almost three months. And that's very painful. Now, in case of interior redesigning, wherein you know my look of the home will 
will become classy, will look beautiful, but then I don't want to take the pain of moving out. See, one of the reasons why a lot of people are going for interior redesign is because uh, they don't want to spend that kind of time. And as I said, the maximum interior redesign time will be one to two weeks. Uh, you don't need to move out of your uh, home or office simply because there is no civil work involved. You are not breaking walls, you are not constructing walls, you are not making any structural alterations. Mm -hmm. uh, secondly, even uh, in terms of paintings and polishing nowadays, we have non-toxic uh, products available. So there are no fumes or there are no such hazardous uh, you know, uh, things happening in your home that you cannot breathe and you, you, you want to get away. In fact, you can become part of the entire interior redesign process. Uh, you know, you can uh, uh, dig out old photographs, artworks, you can probably reframe them, they become you know, new accessories in your home. So you can in fact participate in the whole process of interior redesign. Okay, that's really cool. I mean, who would like to spend so much time and especially if you know it's very painful that you move out of your homes and then and if you don't get the desired result you feel bad about it and i don't think so interior redesigning when it comes to interior redesigning anyone witnesses that kind of disappointment time for a really short break you don't go away um my viewers i would like to say uh, if you are putting off the plans for uh, designing your space just because of time and budget constraints the break we were talking about how to make your homes beautiful within a small budget now let's take this conversation further with our guest Sapna Srivastava since we are talking about designing so now my question here is do interior designers the regular ones can they practice interior redesigning uh, Pooja interior redesign as a segment is, uh, is, uh, is not uh, uh, fairly unknown here in India uh, so we do not have interior redesigners as such, but uh, yes, we can hire interior designers and they can, because they are you know, trained to design things, uh, they can very well do the job. Uh, the only challenge remains is because the, uh, the regular designers, they are uh, more uh, trained to work on a bare framework, you know, they, they start from scratch with the design concept and then according to that design concept. Uh, they work on the design. So that becomes a challenge because that is how they have been practicing. Uh, once you get that approach towards redesigning, that approach towards utilizing the things that are already there, uh, once that approach has been established, I think then uh, the designer can very well do the redesign job as well. Now, how popular is this concept in India? Uh, this is fair, fairly um, you know, unknown. Uh, it's, it's, it's not uh, uh, does not exist in India. That's quite revealing, I must say. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's relatively you know, non-existent uh, in India. We, whenever we think about designs, uh, our homes or offices or any space, the thing that comes to our mind is interior design. Uh, but, uh, and in fact, uh, whenever home owners, they want to you know, use their own things and design they, uh, the, uh, the, the, the idea that they have is that they cannot approach a designer for that. The designer will never do that for us. Uh, if we want to make best use of what we have, we have to do it on our own. So that is uh, the, the mentality of the people that we cannot uh, approach a designer. We cannot hire a designer to do such a thing for us. And uh, generally that is what happens. The homeowners will try to do the best they can do. And uh, more often than not because they are laymen and they go wrong. Um, but uh, you know, uh, even uh, I would say uh, designers have not uh, explored this segment. Uh, they have been practicing interior designing and they have not explored the segment of just redesigning the space which is already there. So I think uh, initiative from designers as well would, would help a lot of people who want budget friendly uh, designing that would really help. Uh, talking internationally, uh, there are a lot of inter interior redesigners who basically are qualified designers. Some who are not qualified but through their experience have uh, uh, created a niche for themselves in interior redesigning. Uh, uh, their services would range from uh, uh, giving color consultation for various spaces like hospitals. They would give what kind of color schemes you should have 
in school what kind of color scheme you should have or probably you know in commercial setup in a shopping boutique or, so they give color consultation uh, they could also help with the new home movies uh, wherein if you are moving uh, from one place to another the interior redesigner will help set up your home with all the things that you are moving in with so you know when you move in you have a fully functional and livable space uh, probably you are downsizing from a bigger home now you are coming to an apartment in a city center so how do you fit in all the things that you have what do you keep what you do not keep how what kind of a look you give so that is what interior uh, redesigners would help you with uh, they also give personal shopping uh, you know services where they would help you shop for new things like lighting systems etc accessories etc and uh, these designers they charge anything uh, from $75 an hour and upwards okay hearing from you i could make out you know that internationally this concept has been very popular and in india as such i don't think so we have any interior designers and i think you know to get the system you know this practice involved in our system we should introduce it in our you know educational syllabus so what is your recommendation on that see uh, puja we uh, when you're talking about interior redesign it's actually about being environment friendly it is about 3 hours reduce reuse recycle Correct. so uh, actually we are practicing that when we are redesigning it uh, we do not need to have a separate uh, subject or a separate course for interior redesigning but yes uh, uh, an approach for redesigning can be introduced within the curriculum that we have uh, in the sense there could be a design project where the uh, the students are given a challenge of uh, redoing uh, a certain setup, a quick setup in a new way and see how they come up with uh, creative ideas. Probably workshops on how you can remodel an existing uh, piece of thing or you know, create something out of waste material. Uh, so uh, when we are talking about sustainability, being environment sensitive, if we start training our uh, designers, uh, you know, their mental development that way, that instead of uh, just trying to create new things, create ideas, why not create new things out of things which are already there? Right. So uh, yes, it can be an approach that we inculcated in the students. Uh, we definitely don't need a entire course around it. Okay. Because actually it is all about designing. Okay. So any subject kind of like, you know, when we talk about interior design, we could have a subject or maybe a chapter on that. Uh, mentioned uh, we can have projects, design projects, uh, where you have a given setup where uh, probably a home or a commercial setup has been done in a certain way and now keeping all those parameters and constraints you have to give it a new look. So that can be one kind of a design project that they can have. Uh, as I said, hands-on workshops you can have where you are given a, a waste material and now you create something out of that which is functional and useful. Or probably you are given a, 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 a furniture piece and now you have to, uh, it's a, it's a you know, classic carved chair and you have to make a modern uh, a minimalist kind of a seating out of it. How do you do it? So these kind of uh, probably you know, exercises would be really helpful. Okay, Sapna. During this conversation, I think you know the people out there must be aware about interior redesign by you know by the end of the conversation since we are at the end of the conversation. Now you know someone out there they must be planning to have their homes redesigned. So any message that you would like to give such viewers who would like to redesign their homes? Uh, well, viewers, I would like to say uh, if you are putting off the plans for uh, designing your space just because of time and budget constraints. Uh, please don't, please go ahead and uh, probably redesign your place. Uh, uh, it's, it's all about borrowing from the past and moving into the future. Uh, go through your uh, family heirloom and uh, you know, lost memories and the lost possessions that you might have done. <laughs> your attic, just dig them out and uh, hire a designer, talk to the designer, uh, you know, tell what you want, what kind of look you are. Uh, uh, you are looking at and uh, uh, definitely go for it because uh, interior redesign is the way to go because we are becoming a lot of uh, you know consumerist society and we are consuming a lot uh, so interior redesign is all about consuming less uh, you know have a lesser carbon footprint so it's not only about monetary benefit but it's also about uh, saving your environment okay yeah.
Sapna, that was a very beautiful, I think a, it's a very beautiful tip and a very beautiful piece of information. And I think it's very budget friendly, environment friendly, you know, whatever I could. Friendly. Time friendly, <laughs> yes, of course. And I think it's, it's, the, it's that thing which, you know, which the viewers had to know. And we really thank you from our heart, you know, to inform me as well as the viewers about this. And thank you for coming on our show. Thank you, Pula, for having me here. So this was Sapna who gave us information on interior redesign. Now this concept is budget friendly, time friendly and environment friendly. So if you want to make your home look beautiful, interior redesign is the thing for you. So just go and hire a designer and get your home redesigned. For more information on interior designing trends and architecture, keep watching SPIN TV. Goodbye, take care.